Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter. Uh, it looks like you guys did it, man. Um, We got a 1,000 likes on the last video, the pros of the defensive side of the ball. If you missed that video, you can check it out. The annotation is probably, like, right there. But uh, the link probably is uh, inside the description. But let's hop into the defensive cons. The cons. Now, this is going to be a fairly short video, but it's going to be a detailed video. I have a few topics, a few things on my list that I not necessarily didn't like, but it is a con. And um, I want to talk about it. You guys ready? Let's hop into it. Now, the first con on this list will have to be calling plays. Now, uh, this is why. When you're calling plays on defense, it's not like calling plays on offense. You only have three regular half-court set plays, and you have probably about four to five full-court set plays. So you have the 2-3, you have the 3-2, and you have man-to-man. 1-3-1 one, one is gone. 1-3-1 one, one is a thing of the past. They're probably never even going to bring that back. You have full-court press, half-court press, half-court trap, full court trap and i don't i don't know if it's one more but I, I i didn't even notice it you know but um i think what makes up for the lack of being able to call plays on defense you kind of have that uh set where you can call a player and tell him to sag off you can tell him to you know play tight deny ball play moderate you know double team when this player drives or something like that you know they have all of those different sets but that's not calling plays now a lot of defenses in the league they really don't play you know too many different types of defense they don't play like um, a one in a box or anything like that, but I would love to see like other different styles of defense, even from college defenses. I would like to see that in 2K, you know, just to try it out. That that's just me, just to try it out. You know, we've had one three one for so many years, and it's like okay, one three one was cool, but I would like to see other types of defense. You know, I would like to see guys that you know um different. Different styles, different sets, man. That's all. It's just me, probably. And I know I'm probably, you know, just honing on that. And it really doesn't matter to you guys because most of you probably play man-to-man. -man, maybe a little bit of 3-2 to try to stop the three-pointers. But me, I just wanted to, you know, check and see about other stuff. But, okay. I'll stop talking now. Let's hop into the next topic. All right, so the next topic on this list will have to be the double team. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, but yo, you just said the double team was clean. But let me tell y'all, though, when you're calling for a double team in NBA 2K15, where do most people call for a double team? A lot of people call for a double team behind the three-point line where it gives the offensive players so much space to be able to get loose or pass it to somebody that's backdoor cutting, things of that nature. So this is what I will say to you guys. When calling for a double team, please don't call for a double team on a player that has great passing rating. Please don't double team a player that has great agility and speed. If you want to double team anybody, double team people that actually get double teamed in the league power forwards, centers, mediocre small forwards, mediocre shooting guards. Don't double team the best point guards in the league and expect the play to go your way, okay? Now, I'm going to tell y'all what I was doing in NBA 2K15. Now, a lot of people know, like, um, when pick and rolls happen, power forwards and centers, sometimes they fade instead of actually cutting. Sometimes they just no-sell the whole pick and cut to the basket. But usually they get the ball the most when they fade out, right? So um, whenever a power forward or a center would get the ball, guess what I was doing? I was calling for a double team. You want to know why? Not the best ball security. Not the best dribbling and offhand dribbling. Not the best awareness on offense. And definitely not the best passing on offense. So, when you're calling for double teams, please call double teams that make sense. You get what I'm saying? Call double teams that make 
sense. Don't call it double teams for players just because you're getting torched by Damian Lillard or Kyrie Irving and you're like, man, I need some help. Call it double teams that matter because if you don't call it double teams that matter, people will take advantage of you. And I don't want to see you getting taken advantage of. So don't get taken advantage of. All right? Cool? Let's hop into the next topic. All right, so the next con on this list is going to have to be reaching. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I should have put it on the offensive pros, but I had to save it for the defensive cons. If you think you just going to put this disc in, come out there and reach and get all these steals and be the best player in the league and do all this, you thought wrong. If you reach, you are now out of defensive position. If you reach past the three-point line, guess what? We'll see you at the half-court line, and we'll see the offensive player at the basket. I'm just going to put it to you guys like this. Stop reaching. What's the, what's the saying that Michael Jordan always used to say? If you reach, I teach. So now if a player is like doing his uh, signature uh, ISO move or gather or whatever you may call it, if you reach and you miss, it's over. He can just move in a few more feet, shoot the mid-range jump shot. He could take it to the paint, shoot the floater. Or if, and there's always this big if, another player comes over to rotate and help you because you slacking on defense, guess what's going to happen? It's going to leave another player open and magic is going to happen. Literally, like magic. You don't, you don't get it? Okay. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know that reaching, stop. I'm dead serious. Don't reach. I'm dead serious. Stop reaching. You going to keep reaching? I'm going to keep torturing you. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to say every video. You want to keep reaching? Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep reaching. Just just keep doing it. Yeah. I'm up 20 to 2. Keep reaching. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all better start reaching. Now, I know that that's not really a defensive con. It's more like, oh, that's simulation basketball. I know that. But I'm just telling y'all, stop. (laughs) Let's hop into the next topic, man. All right. So, for the final thing on this list, on ball defense. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, 2K, you thought I wasn't going to call you out, huh? Yeah. Let me tell y'all, man. As a defensive player, you still feel a little sluggish. Still feel like you're a little bit in quicksand. Yep. Um, For players that play intense defense, which is L2 and R2, where you're trying to keep up with the offensive player, still feels a little sluggish. Still feels a little sluggish. As well as when the offensive player is doing their moves and you get bumped a little bit, you know, like you you get stuck in your stance a little bit still as well. But um, I can say if you just uh, guard that defender and use R2 and let like both of your bodies meet, you can kind of like shade him to a way where like, oh, I'm still in front of you. 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 So, uh, yeah, let my let my camera focus, but I'm moving too fast, too fast. Nah, but seriously, there's still that little, you know, stuck in quicksand type of feel when you're on defense. I told you guys I would keep it true to my nature, you know what I'm saying? I don't be lying to, out in these streets. If you're playing all ball on defense, leave L2 alone. Just just stop pressing L2. Everybody knows what L2 is, man. It's usually that that button where, you know, you get down, you drop down in your defense, and you're like, all right, I'm on you, I'm on you. Trust me, people can get around that. If anything, I would say just try to keep the defender from getting to the, from the paint by using your movements and uh, the right stick. Oh, God. Almost forgot to tell you about the right stick. Everybody know about the little fake nene, how, you know, you put one hand up. You still move like you're not even moving. I mean, I'm talking about if a sand jar was turned, that'll be you, baby. You just, I mean, just the slowest movements. And 2K still hasn't addressed it yet. You know, and everybody knows what I'm talking about. If you know, like, it's the right stick defense. You put both hands up. Like, say, for instance, uh, 
a player is about to shoot a jump shot, right? You know he's about to shoot. If you click the right stick to him, he's going to put his hand up to try to block the shot. But if you're playing defense and you shade and you're trying to, like, put a hand in his face, you still move so slow. Like, he will go around you like this. So, definitely right stick defense. You only really want to use right stick defense when a player is going for a shot on a jump shot or if the player is at the foul line towards the paint because then you can kind of determine, like, there's not much more space that that player can try to get to the rim, so you have a better chance at playing right uh, stick defense. Um, if you're going to be playing intense defense, either press R2 with it or just leave intense defense alone and try to stop your uh, offensive uh, matchup from getting past you. That's the key. Try to stop him from getting past you by actually moving where he is going. You can't watch the weights. You can't watch the ball, but you can watch the player. This is a video game. But uh, I think that's it, man. I think that's all the cons. Yep, that's it. Man, that was a quick series, right? It took me about two, three days. <laughs> but this is IKC signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with me with this NBA 2K15 news. You know I love you. Um, And also, a little disclaimer. I know a lot of people want to see my face scan. You guys are going to have to wait until my creation. Man, I want to make it special. I wanna, I'm going to bring out the bubbly. You feel me? But uh, make sure you guys drop a like. Holla at me in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter as well. If anybody has any questions about 2K15 and you know they need to know, if I can talk about it, I will talk about it. Straight up. But I'm going to holla at you guys in the next video, man. Peace. Yeah.